Hi guys, this is Tracy over at Daymu Studios and today I'm going to show you how to add YouTube videos to your Drupal 7 site using the media and media YouTube modules. So the first thing you want to do is head over to drupal.org and to the project pages of media and media YouTube to download and enable those modules along with any dependencies. Um, for this Drupal tutorial though, I'm going to assume that you already know how to download and install modules, so I'm going to be skipping that step entirely. Uh, just as a side note though, uh, I am going to be using the 7.x 2.0 alpha 4 version of the media module and the 7.x 2.0 RC5 of the media YouTube module. So let's get started. After you've downloaded and enabled your modules, let's head over and configure the display settings for your new video file type. You'll access the configuration under Structure, File Types. So let's uh, navigate to Manage File Display for video. And as you can see here, you already have a set of predefined display modes in place. So you'll choose the display handler that you want to customize. In my case, I like to use the default mode to actually display the YouTube video on my content type while using the teaser handler to display my YouTube preview image in my views. So for the default, I'm going to ensure that YouTube video is my enabled display, and then I'm going to scroll down and uh, I can add other customizations such as my size, um, player theme, and then save my configuration. Now I'm going to add my configuration settings for my smaller YouTube preview image that will appear in my views. So I'm going to choose Teaser, and I'm going to select YouTube Preview Image as my enabled display. Down at the bottom are your display settings for your YouTube Preview Image. Um, and for this tutorial, I'm not going to actually show you how to create an image style. It works off of your, your main site-wide image styles, and I'll be showing you how to do a custom uh, image style for videos in a later tutorial. So for the moment I'm just going to select the size that I wish to use which is 220 by 160 and it's just a scale and crop and save configuration. Okay now that I have my video file display set up I'm going to actually go in and add my video field to my content type. So I'm going to go structure, content types. Now the content type that I want to add my videos um, or within the article content type. So I'll choose Manage Fields. I'll add a new field and call it Video. And for the field type, I'm going to choose File. Now that brings up Media Browser as the widget, and I'm going to click Save. Now I don't need to change the field settings here, so I'm going to save the field settings. Okay, so we'll add a little bit of help text. And for the browser plugin, I'm going to choose Library and Web. There is a YouTube browser plugin option um, that allows you to search YouTube videos, but my users will already know which videos they want to plug in. And I'm going to leave that setting off. Um, and then I want to change my file type here to video. And of course, my scheme, I want to allow YouTube videos. Um, now, I do suggest that you enable the description field just for SEO purposes and save. Okay, now that you can see my video field is created, I'm going to actually manage the, the display of the output on my content type. Um, and I'm going to remove the label here. Um, and the format I'm going to choose rendered file. And the, the view mode, of course, is default because that's the the view mode that I set up to show my YouTube videos. You, you can, the options to change it are here. Okay, and leave that as is, and we're going to click Save. Okay, so if I come back to my home page, um, you can see that I have already started an article that's supposed to have a video, but you can see that it does not yet have a video. So if I scroll down, you can see my new video field here. I'll choose Browse. Now, if I've, if I've uploaded a video in the past, it'll be here in my library. Um, but here you can see that I can add the file URL. 
So what I'm going to do is head over to YouTube and grab one of our tutorial videos just as a plug. Um, and you can see here, I'm just going to copy the video URL. Hopefully you've reached the point that you press. have. And we're going to paste it in here. Next. And of course, provide your description text. Okay. And then I'm going to click Save. Now if I visit my piece of content, you can see that my video is playable. And that is how to add a YouTube video with a media and media YouTube module to your Drupal 7 site. Thanks and have a great day!